Well, good morning, gardeners. Well, it's the 26th of April. We had a very oh violent storm there yesterday evening. This is the rainfall total. It's a surprise to you as it is me. Yesterday we had 2.2, so now we got up to about 2.2.8. All that 2.8 inches of rain will dump the rain gauge ready for round two you know that's better than I thought uh, I thought we were gonna have a lot more rain the way that last eight tenths came down because it was flooding it was flooding so bad I didn't even go out and pick asparagus a second time yesterday and we always we always need to do that but um so we got these sustained 18 mile an hour winds today i literally saw rain let me change that i, I literally saw water coming down like sheet cakes off of that uh, my cornfield over there so one thing that a planter does very well is it cuts and slices through the soil that gives us a, a place for the seed to sit well you get into some of these torrential rains and what happens is the water actually um, put, <laughs> goes in and washes out those little v trenches where the corn was and it had me nervous i'm so nervous i'm over here I was very happy to see a high tunnel still standing. Uh, all of my life, or my adult life, let me call it my my responsible life. Whether it was a hog, uh, uh, a hog buildings, or what have you, I've always had storms as not a pleasant experience. Something you're going to cuddle up to, or oh my goodness, I, I can't wait to see the snow. No, it's always been like, well, I hope I have power. I hope I have a building. I hope I have it. I hope my corn hasn't washed out. And there we go. To my relief, we do have corn still. This probably did shift some soil. I might be struggling a little bit in a couple spots. But it is coming up. Uh, some of those some of those uh, sweet corn is going to have to fight their way through see how it's see how the soil kind of filled up there it did shift a little bit but uh this is the low side so this will be your worst side let's go over here and look yeah i mean i'm gonna have sweet corn i just want to have 100 percent right and uh just looking yeah it's gonna have to I got a pretty good blank spot right there there's one but yeah that might be a planter issue there's one coming up just things like that just still waiting it's I'm sinking pretty good out here a reminder I need to lose some more weight so how did Delia's eye um, terraces work here well i still see terraces so that's a good thing I, I i don't see where we had any hail damage or anything but definitely i do see where the uh water is pooling a little bit i don't see where we've lost a lot of soil or that was the main goal is we don't lose soil and the potatoes still look good we do have some ponding down here on the lower third of the onions and cabbage but it has acted like a terrace here so that's saving some of that that's not in everything i don't see a lot of uh soil over the top of our grass so you know that's that's a good thing we uh looks like the uh squash got its but kind of handed to it these are the zucchini over there this is zucchini on the very end 
but most of it's yellow squash um they're still still upright uh they don't look pretty and there's some standing water in the inside of that plastic but uh a lot better than they could let's get on over here i don't really want to venture too far out into the we have our okra there i see them waving in the wind we have some bell peppers there's there's i don't see i don't see where their necks are snapped off so that's probably a good thing a lot of green beans starting to come up now these guys they are having to force themselves up through a little bit of heavier soil now it'll be it'll be curious how they do i see them i don't i don't know how much they're going to show up now this one i'm just looking here there there they are there's the green beans the soil seems to be holding fairly well i uh, had an incident last year this is washed out a little bit here guys do you see how that's kind of exposing our beans right in this zone right here where the water come rushing around this corner edge i'm surprised i can still but that's what happened to me a year ago and that spot was where the potatoes are and that's that is a, a steeper spot and uh but i had a lot of rutting occurred and it washed out a lot of my green beans and right now i'm just but i'm seeing a lot of beans as i'm walking here along this edge they're not a hundred percent not yet they're just now starting to really pop up through the soil we'll have to see in a day the later planted the later planted uh beans and corn they're gonna pop up a lot faster i don't there's one coming up we got a couple of days yet on these beans to find out whether we're going to be winners or losers on the beans let's come on look how we still have a little ponding out here even part of the last rows of our uh, corn but i don't see where there's a little bit of runoff right there you see where we have a little erosion right here at the base i guarantee you that those um yeah we have some standing water but i don't see where the grass is all brown from being trump so certainly our um row or plastic row plastic mulch has act like terraces and saved us from additional from additional uh, erosion and these are you know you don't want to lose seed you don't want to lose your soil i certainly don't want my soil down in my pond that's what this is all kind of my concern everything's looking pretty good i'm pretty happy right now i know it's windy let's go over here and check the corn in this field let's see what this looks like i am sinking everywhere i go there we go the, i do see a rut right here do you folks do you see this yeah i have a washed out row right there yeah these are things you get worried about that row's gone i just planted this row the other yes uh two days ago yeah that no i'm not yeah that's a row and then yeah we got some soil sitting on top of soil or on top of grass here that was such a hard rain it was coming off in buckets so got a got a little bit of a wash right in there let's see our corn how it's doing 
it was just coming off and and the the rain was coming flying off of this hillside but i do see corn that's good i i do see some corn let me just i'm just kind of quickly scanning it and we still have a lot more corn we have we have more look how the corn i don't know how this row is going to do you can see corn in the bottom of that trench and this here's look at that boy did that water just we're gonna have situations where i'm just gonna lose rows i i see corn all the way up in it but i don't i really be i mean i have no idea how much yield uh corn can do when it's been washed out of that of that trench right there that's probably where my row marker was well no it wasn't but anyway what a what a lot of rain yeah there we go well well i'm in here in the uh big greenhouse big high tunnel and uh just checking everything out i can see a little moisture <coughs> it's not bad though putting my foot everything's pretty dry uh if you guys after a 3.8 inch rain as you guys may recall from earlier videos this house was swamped a year ago and uh no everything's i mean there's gonna be some moisture underneath the plastic but the bhn 589s they're much bigger now they're able to handle a lot better some of uh of what life throws at them compared to a year ago so our uh look look at how much better our uh, all of our all of our tomatoes are starting to look they're getting their the fertilizers getting into them they're looking a lot better so if there was a building gonna flood out this was the building here and no it looks good it looks good you know there's our red uh our florida 91s got some smaller ones here but everybody's getting their roots underneath of them look at how well the lettuce is coming on i bet you guys are happy you're not outside aren't you goodness gracious that's a terrible wind all right well we have today we are going to go ahead and uh we harvest everything in the small high tunnel we have more bell peppers and more cucumbers that need to be planted asap so we're going to go ahead and clean everything out of that high tunnel it's going to be a windy day to be pushing to be pushing a wheelbarrow out there uh to the compost pile but we'll get her done one way or the other maybe not 100 percent today on that but because of the wind it's just going to blow out probably but no i'm happy everything is we're blessed uh thank you lord that what i see right now is we've lost about three three rows of sweet corn due to the wind and uh rain so no and our our ditch here is keeping the water away and i i don't really see any major damage so i'm happy 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 about that everything's as it should be